Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am whispering because Jonathan is napping on the couch. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking for my chicken tacos recipe, so I decided to bring it here to YouTube. So before we get started, please give me a huge thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed yet, hit the bell right next to the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. So I'm gonna make this very simple and short and easy for you guys. Right now, I'm gonna show you guys all the ingredients that you need to make these chicken tacos. So let's get to it. First thing first, you need diced chicken breasts. This is what I use. If you don't find this at your local grocery store, you can get chicken breasts and just dice them up into little tiny pieces just like this. Since it's just me and Jonathan eating, I'm just gonna make one pack of chicken. So yeah, first diced chicken breast, onion powder, garlic salt, rotisserie chicken seasoning, Nashville hot chicken style seasoning. These are the two main ingredients. Turmeric for color ground red pepper, black pepper, paprika for color, and chili powder. So, so far I showed you guys the chicken breast, onion powder, garlic salt, turmeric, red pepper, rotisserie chicken seasoning, Nashville hot chicken style seasoning, black pepper, paprika, and chili powder. So a lot of people ask me what tortillas I use. These are the best tortillas to fry. They are corn tortillas. This is how it looks. The Guerrero brand, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but these are the best ones. I really recommend you using these tortillas, this brand, exactly this right here. So a lot of people are struggling with their shells. I'm gonna show you exactly how I fry them but the tortillas are the main thing you absolutely need this brand and corn tortillas of course you can use whatever you like but for my from my experience these are the best ones to fry so i always make homemade salsa but i also love this El pato jalapeno sauce. I call it duck sauce because it has a duck on there and pato means duck in Spanish. A lot of people are like, why do you call it el pato? Well, duck means, and pato means duck in Spanish, but I love, it's not tomato sauce. A lot of people think it's tomato sauce. I love this salsa so much with my tacos and I also use the homemade salsa. If you want to see the recipe on the homemade salsa, go to my main TikTok account or yeah, go to my main TikTok account, link is in the description, Jasmine Nicole 1995. I actually have the salsa pinned to my TikTok account. So it'll be the first video, it'll say pinned. It is a very spicy salsa, let me show you guys. So this is how the salsa looks. It's good for up to a week in your fridge. Um, but like I said, it is spicy. So when you see the recipe, if you want to make it less spicy, definitely use only like two jalapenos, like one Fresno pepper, one habanero. But yeah, you can see the recipe on my um, main page on TikTok and then just use very less spices to make it not that spicy. So yeah, there's that so far. I use Parmesan shredded cheese. You can use any cheese you want, but we personally like Parmesan cheese on the tacos. I know that sounds weird, but it tastes so freaking good. So I use Parmesan cheese. We absolutely love queso fresco on our tacos as well. This is the one we get, so freaking good. Crumble it up inside your tacos, bomb. Of course, you have to have the sour cream. We use the Daisy brand sour cream and we use the squeezable one. It's just easier for us when it comes to squeezing it into the tacos. You absolutely need sour cream. If you're a sour cream fan, it just makes it so good. I always drench my tacos in sour cream. So freaking bomb, I'm so excited. And then of course you need cilantro. 
lettuce, I have lettuce in there, tomatoes, cilantro, lettuce, tomatoes, and then I believe that is it so far. And then I like to eat my chili peppers with the tacos. A lot of people ask me if they're pepperoncinis. No, they're not. They're literally hot chili peppers. These are the brand. They're so freaking good. Kind of like the ones that in and out. All right. Now that I showed you every single ingredient, um, I get all my ingredients from Fry's Grocery Store. If you don't have a Fry's, maybe they sell all these items at your local grocery store. Um, so if you have any questions so far, just leave your questions down below and I'll try to get back to every comment I can. So now that I showed you guys all the ingredients, we're gonna go ahead and start seasoning our chicken with all of those seasonings. I use a lot of seasonings, so if you don't like to use a lot of seasonings, that is perfectly fine. Season your chicken to your likings. But I'm gonna season the chicken with all of those ingredients and then I'm gonna show you guys um, what it looks like after I'm done. I season my chicken on top of foil because it's such an easy cleanup. When you're done seasoning it, you add it to the pan and then you just throw your foil away. So freaking easy rather than doing it on a cutting board or a plate, etc. So this is the pan I use, a big round one. I just washed it. I love this pan though. So you can use any kind of pan you want, panned, any kind of pan you want. I use more of a big round one. It looks like that. But you can use any pan that works for you. This just works for me, so I could like fry like five to six tacos at a time. Okay, so I'm gonna put some oil in here and then I'm gonna let it get um, a little hot. So that way when I'm done seasoning the chicken, I can throw the chicken right in. I'm gonna put the oil at about a four heat. So I use about that much oil, just kind of like evenly all across to fry your chicken in. And then I put the heat to about a four to let it warm up. And this is how I personally do things. So if you don't like it, that's totally fine. You don't have to make them, but I'm making this recipe. Uh, I'm posting this recipe for the people that have been asking me. And it's like hundreds of people that have been asking me. A lot of people have made this recipe and they love it so much. So if you make this and you like it, make sure you tag me on Instagram. Follow my Instagram is Jasmine Nicole underscore 1995. The link will be in my bio down below in the description. If you make them, tag me on Instagram and I will reshare your video slash picture, whatever it is. Okay, time to season the chicken now. Okay, so I got my chicken out um, and I spread it evenly across the foil and now I'm gonna start seasoning it. I use all the seasonings evenly across and I do use a good amount. So I got the garlic salt evenly across on the chicken. I added the ground red pepper evenly across and it just looks like a lot of seasonings because I use a lot of different seasonings. Very, very light onion powder. Got the paprika on there evenly across everywhere. I got the black pepper all over. I got the chili powder all over. I got the turmeric all over. The turmeric is for color. I added the rotisserie chicken seasoning all over. Last but not least, I'm gonna add the Nashville hot chicken style seasoning. And you can add and take out whatever you like. And bam, I got all of the seasonings on there. Now I'm gonna mix it up and get like all of these seasonings on top on the bottom as well and you can mix it up however you like. Okay, so I mixed all the seasonings together inside the chicken all throughout. So it looks like this. I checked to see if my oil is hot with water. It's not hot yet, so I'm gonna wait till it gets hot and then I'm gonna add in the chicken, or it is hot. You see how it starts sizzling when you do that, when you add the water? So that's how you know your oil is ready to add your chicken in. So I got the chicken in, easy cleanup. I just crumbled up the foil. Don't have to get my hands dirty. I'm about to mix that up all in there really good. I'm gonna throw this away, wash my hands, grab a spatula, 
So I washed my hands and I actually used tongs. That works best for me. So use whatever works best for you. And then I just mix it up really good. I flip them all over and stuff, make sure the oil gets on all of them. And it's still about a four heat. I still have it on a four. See, four. Right now it's 5.46 p.m. I will cook this chicken until about 5.56 p.m. So 10 minutes I make I fry the chicken. So I wanna make sure it's cooked thoroughly. And then I do fry it again when I make the tacos. You may think it's a lot of frying for the chicken, but it comes out perfect. So yeah, I'm gonna let this fry up on this side for a couple minutes, and then I'm gonna flip it all around. I put my tongs on a paper plate. Once the chicken is like cooked and not raw anymore, I'm gonna wash these and use it again. So as the chicken is frying, I clean up my seasonings, I wash the dishes that I used, and just clean up my area. Okay, go clean as you go. So I'm gonna let that fry up a little bit. It's already been in there for one minute. I will show you guys it in a couple of minutes. Um, make sure you're stirring it probably in like two minutes. Mix it up again. Mix it up basically frequently throughout the 10 minutes. So it's been about two minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the chicken. It's 548. I put it in at 546. Mix, mix, mix. So it's 5.52, it's been a few minutes. I washed the dishes as I was waiting. The last time I touched the chicken was at 5.48, so now I'm gonna mix it up again. So I'm now mixing it up again. All of this is just the seasoning. And I fry the tacos in this same exact oil. That's what brings a lot of flavor to the tortilla shells. So, now the chicken looks pretty cooked. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna wash these. I'm gonna put these in the sink. I'm gonna throw some soap on them. We're gonna rinse them first, and then I'm gonna wash them. I'm gonna wash them really good with my sponge and more soap, and then we could reuse them. And remember, it was 5.53 and I just mixed them up again. So I'm gonna take them out in about three minutes. So my tongs are nice and clean. I'm gonna throw that away. And now I'm gonna keep mixing it up for these next two minutes. So I threw the napkin away and I'm just literally gonna mix these up for the next two minutes. Like constantly just mix them up so they can cook. So every like 20 seconds, I'm gonna do a mix for the next two minutes until it hits 556. So you go ahead and do that as well. Every 20 minutes for the next two minutes, mix them up. So I use this to put the chicken in when it's done cooking. So it's 556 and it's about done. Remember, you're gonna fry it up some more in the tacos. And you could check the chicken by cutting it in half and looking at the inside. So you could tell that's just cooked. I could see closer and more of it off camera, but it's definitely cooked. So I'm gonna start taking it all out without the oil, of course. So I'm gonna do a little clip with you guys. So I'm just gonna start grabbing all the chicken out. I drain the oil like that, just shake it, let it fall. If some oil gets in the chicken, it's totally fine. So then just take it all out So go ahead and do that. Just take your chicken out and put it on your plate, put it in your um, container, whatever you wanna use. So here's the chicken. It looks so freaking good. This is the oil. Now I'm gonna put it down in between the two and the four. A lot of people ask why their oil gets burnt. It's because you have your stove too high. So go ahead and put it in between a two and a four. 
So my oil is still cooking up, as you can see. That's all the seasoning that's gonna give color and flavor to your tortilla, so go ahead and leave it. As long as it's not burnt, which this is not, because remember, I've only had it at a four the whole time, and now I have it in between a two and a four. And then here's my chicken. So then you're gonna go ahead, grab your tortillas. I have some right here, so I'm gonna use these first. Same exact brand, same everything, corn tortillas. So then I'm gonna go ahead, take out some tortillas, and just put it on top like this. I grab the tortilla, I put it in the oil, just like that. I wait until I see the, now that I put it in, I'm gonna turn the heat back up to a four, to a four. Cause you want them to get crispy as well. But I'm not putting it any higher than a four. So I'm just waiting until the tortillas start bubbling. So now that they're bubbling up, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it to this side and flip it. And I'm gonna grab some chicken. I'm gonna add it on top. I just do it evenly across because I wanna have a good amount of tacos. I do it like that. And what works for me is I get a fork. It's kind of hard because I'm holding the phone, but I'm gonna try to do it like this. Yeah, usually I'll get a fork and then I'll like hold this side down, but that worked, that worked out for me. So then again, you do the same right here. Add your chicken. And then you flip the tortilla over. Usually I use a fork, but it's working out today. And then I'm gonna keep adding tortilla shells. Go ahead and add another one. Just like that. Turn on the light for you guys. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit, a little, in between four and six, so like a five. It will not burn, it'll be okay. Because as you can see, I want the tortillas to start frying once you put them in. So you can tell the oil is not hot enough. So I added it up a little bit. Depending on your stove, you'll know if you need to turn it down or turn it higher or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. I leave them in there for a good amount until, you just basically do it until your likings. I like each side. So yeah, when you put them in, you kind of want them to start bubbling like that, but I let each side fry a good amount of minutes because I like ours to get, we like ours to get crispy, to have that crunch in them. So yeah, we're gonna add our chicken into this. Add your chicken. I'd be doing it way neater if I had both my hands, but I'm holding the camera. But it's fine. You guys get the concept. Flip it. So then I could go ahead and flip this side. I'm gonna end up flipping it back again to the other side again. Cause like I said, we like ours crispy and brown. And you could fill them. Like when you fill them, you can fill if they're hard or not. Like this is semi, it's getting there, but you want it to be harder, obviously, if you want that crunch. And a lot of people are like, I can't get my tacos to get crunchy. Trust me, just leave them in the oil and keep flipping them back and forth every like few minutes and they will for sure get crunchy. Like there's no way they cannot get crunchy in the oil. So then I'm gonna go ahead and just keep doing it. Keep multiplying your tacos. As this is, um, I'm gonna finish up this taco really quick. Let this boil up a little bit. Let it sit like that. And I just do the taco chicken evenly across, just like that. So yeah, these are cooking, these are getting there. I'm not, I'm gonna leave that, see, cause it's still bendable, so you can tell it's not crunchy to flip. I'm gonna go ahead and get my 
pan that I use to put the chicken tacos in. So I just put it on the side right here. Ignore that, I gotta clean up my counters. I'm gonna put some paper towel, towel down. So I got the paper towel in so that way my tacos could, um, so the oil, so the paper towels could soak up the oil, sorry. So then I'm gonna flip this one over. This one I'm gonna leave because it's still a little bendable. I'm gonna get my cheese out. My Parmesan cheese. You can use whatever cheese you like. Go ahead and open up your cheese and put it on the side right here next to your pan. I have it opened next to my tray so that way when I put the tacos in, I can automatically throw some cheese in there. I'm gonna close this up for now. I could probably fit another one in here, so I'm gonna fit another one in here. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this side already. My kids are playing, sorry. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this side. That like that. I mean, you can leave your chicken open. It's not like it's gonna get cold or anything, but if you wanna close it, you can. So then again, repeat. You see how it's starting to um, boil like that or whatever, fry up the tortilla? That's exactly what you want it to do. Because the more it fries while it's flat, the easier it is to fry them once they're like formed. See, that's exactly how you want your taco to look. So let me go ahead and put some on like that. And then if you, so to make it easier, if your tacos won't stay once you fold them, uh, fold it, hold it for a second, and then just start frying from this side because it will it will be easier. Like, it basically forms, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this side again. These are getting there. It's okay if the seasonings are on the shells. I just, like, scrape them off. And if they don't come off, it's okay. They're still really good, just like this. Bring seasoning to the tortillas. I'm going to flip this side. So as you can see, these are getting brown, so they're getting there. But you could tell there's still a little bit more to go, just how we like them. But remember, fry your tacos to your likings. If you're okay with your tacos like that, take them out already. If not, fry them up some more. And then like right here, the seasoning starts like coming. So I just like pinch the seasoning out. And I just throw it in my sink. So yeah, I'm gonna let these fry up on each side for a couple more minutes and then I'll show you when I take them out. I'm actually gonna maneuver them so I can go ahead and add in another taco to start frying. Cause I'm hungry and I wanna hurry up and eat. So I'm gonna put this back on this side. Yeah, so I can fit another taco shell right here. So all the ones I took out, I already used. Got three, four, five. So these two I had in, these ones are almost done. Yeah, they're almost done. They feel hard, how we like them. This one's frying up. Once it fries up like this, then you flip it. Okay, so now that the oil's hot, you could definitely tell, I'm gonna turn it down to a four. Go ahead and add your chicken. Add your chicken. Fold it up. See? It's so much easier. These I'm going to take out right now. These are done. Let it just fry on that side a couple more seconds. Let's flip this one over. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, please leave your questions down below. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you guys. In like 30 seconds, I'm going to take these two tacos out. So I'll show you when I take them out. Okay, it's been about 30 seconds. So what I do, I get the taco and I drain it. I drain, usually if I have the fork, if I have both hands, I get the fork and I put it underneath the bottom and I like tap it against the fork. But since I don't have a fork in both my hands right now, I do have a fork, but I'm not using both my hands. I'm just gonna tap it out like that. Drain the oil 
And then of course the paper towels are gonna absorb the oil even more. So I put that in. I'm gonna take this one out because this one's ready. Drop it out. That one looks ready right there too. Right there. Yep, this one's ready. So you guys basically get the concept. Now I'm gonna keep repeating this until all of my tacos are done. Just like that. This one's done. See, you can tell they're done because they're like brown. And then when you tap them, you can hear it. And they're formed hard like a taco. That's that. These ones still need more time. So I'm going to flip it like that. I'm going to flip this. Put this down, cover my chicken. I'm gonna get the cheese and I'm gonna add them in the tacos. I'll show you when I'm done. So I got the cheese inside of the tacos. I'm gonna go ahead and put a paper towel over it and I'm gonna continue to make more tacos. So I'm gonna take some more out, put them right there, throw it in. Let's check on these. That side still needs longer. Like this side on both of them are basically done. They probably just need 30 more seconds, but this side definitely needs like a minute more. So that's already frying up. So then flip it, see? Perfect. So then let's get the chicken. I'm going to do a couple more tacos with you guys, and then you guys basically get the concept. And then I'll show you guys after I'm done. If your oil ends up draining out, you could go ahead and add a little bit oil into your pan. It's never a problem. Let's add another piece of chicken to this one. Looking a little sad. Okay, and then just like that like that see it wants to flip over so I'm gonna hurry up and flip it back this way and then it should stay ah sorry it should stay see and then this one is done and this one is done so I'm gonna remove this paper towel a little bit let's cover those ones we're gonna take this one out let's throw that chicken in there so it doesn't fall Drain the oil. Add it into the pan with your other taco. Take this one out. So you could tell they're done because it has like that brown crisp gold into it. Drain the oil. This one's still cooking. I'm going to flip it to this side. Add your cheese into the taco. It's hard to do it with two hands. So I'm gonna add it into those two and then cover it with a paper towel. So I got the cheese in that. These ones are melting, cover it up. And then just finish working on the rest of your chicken until you have no more chicken. Do the same thing as you did with these tacos. So I will see you guys when I'm done making the tacos. See how there's actually seasoning right here? So I'm gonna scrape this seasoning up right here. I'm gonna take it out with the tongs. I'm gonna just throw it in the kitchen sink. And then I'm gonna add very little oil into the pan, very little. So about like that. Just so there's oil right here on the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna finish frying my tacos and then see you guys at the end. So we're still working on the chicken tacos. You could tell the cheese is starting to melt in them. So I don't know if I mentioned, but these tacos do have a spice to them because like the Blazing Buffalo um, chicken breast, I think. Wait, is it? No, why am I saying that? The, what is it? The Nashville Hot Chicken Style Seasoning that has a spice to it. I also use red pepper and I also use chili powder. So if you don't want it to be spicy, you don't have to use the Nashville Hot Seasoning as long as you use the rotisserie chicken seasoning. And then you don't have to put chili powder. You don't have to put red pepper if you can't tolerate spice and you still want a good seasoned um, chicken tacos. Just make sure you have the rotisserie chicken seasoning. That could be a substitution for the spices. Okay, so all the tacos are done. I just have one more taco frying in the pan. I'm about to take it out. But out of that case of chicken that I showed you guys, I got 19 tacos and they all have cheese on them. So I'm gonna put the last taco in and then the tacos are completely done. I hope that was an easy process for you guys. 
If you guys have any questions, leave your questions down below. I'll show you guys how I dress up my tacos as well. And then we'll end the video with me taking a bite of a taco. Okay, all 19 tacos are done. So I'm gonna cover it and put it to the island. So then you got the alfato sauce, homemade salsa, chopped up cilantro, the queso fresco. You can go ahead and crumble this on top of your tacos. Got the lettuce and the tomatoes. And then I'm gonna pull out the sour cream and my chili peppers. Time to build your tacos. Let's see. So this is how the taco looks with nothing in it. Then I added my cilantro first. So I have, <laughs> so I got the cilantro in the tacos. I got the queso fresco inside the tacos. I love sour cream, got the sour cream in. Now I'm gonna put the lettuce and tomato. And then I have the lettuce and tomato. Now I'm gonna add some homemade salsa on there and then also the alfalfa sauce. So I add the homemade salsa just like that, a little bit on top, and then I drench my tacos in alfato sauce. So I'm gonna take that to the table with me. And then I'm gonna have a Mountain Dew. So yeah, let's eat. So this is the finished outcome. Showed you guys how to bake the tacos, got all the toppings, my salsa, my chili peppers. And then I have my Mountain Dew. Time to eat. Got Jonathan. <laughs> So now it's time to eat. I'm gonna go ahead and do eating videos on TikTok. So go to the description down below. It's all dripping. Look how saucy that is. Go to my TikToks and go watch the eating videos. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.